everyone, welcome to Lindor Does Life. In this week's episode, I invite you to come on a brunch crawl in Edmonton with me. My name is Linda Huang, and I'm a Canadian blogger, and now video blogger, sharing about my life. Tune in each week as I do something. <laughs> I'll try things you might want to try, visit places you might want to visit, and eat food you might want to eat. I hope you join me as I do life. I recently went on an Edmonton brunch crawl for Travel Alberta. My work is pretty great sometimes. The assignment was to suggest five brunch spots around Edmonton. I chose to do this delicious research all in one day with my friends James and Ashley. You're welcome to copy our crawl or just pull out a few spots to visit over several brunches. Our first stop was Tiramisu Bistro along 124th Street. I recommend you order the braised beef brisket bennies and french toast. The hash browns here are so good. You can enjoy your meal in the Tiramisu dining room or by booking their fun private geodome. And we'll also add on a plain sourdough. Tiramisu Bistro opened the Lift Me Up market during the pandemic, which has become a wonderful spot for freshly baked bread and pastries. Check it out while you're there for brunch. Our next stop was to Floral Studio and Cafe Brew and Bloom. This is known as an Instagrammable cafe. They specialize in photogenic, but also tasty, signature drinks, like their Cloud Mimosa. Or their Sweet Cloud Lattes. It's pretty messy. <laughs> Sip and snap pics surrounded by beautiful florals. And try their smoked salmon panini. It was quite good. Third stop on the brunch crawl, we're heading down to the French Quarter of Edmonton for breakfast poutine and more eggs bennies at Cafe Bicyclette. Yes! That was kind of perfect. We found the perfect egg yolk pop here and met the cutest pups. Made new friend at brunch. Cafe Bicyclette, like many outdoor patios in Edmonton, is dog friendly. Next, we made our way to the lovely River Valley neighborhood of Riverdale. They have a restaurant called The Dog Patch, which also shares a space with neighborhood bakery bread and butter. At The Dog Patch, you'll find a mimosa flight. It's just classic orange, grapefruit, apple, cinnamon, and lemon basil. Why try one when you can try four? Super fun. We also had their potato pancake and the pork belly croque madame. And housemaid chip. I'd come back to try their bennies, but at this point of our brunch crawl, we were pretty bennied out. <laughs> Finally, stop five on this Edmonton brunch crawl was to the Moth Vegan and Vegetarian Cafe. The Moth is beautiful. Find hanging plants and big bright windows, as well as a lot of wood tones here. The Moth does all day breakfast, so we ordered their vegan, gluten-free omelet, which is made of bean curd and stuffed with vegetables. We also got their signature Moth spaghetti with mushroom meatballs. <laughs> By stop five, we had all pretty much hit a brunch wall. <laughs> There's actually so many brunch options in Edmonton. We're a pretty brunchy city, so although we only made it to these five for this particular brunch project, Rest assured, you've got brunch options year-round if you wanted. Oh, I'm stuffed! <laughs> Thanks so much for coming on this brunch crawl with me. I hope it gave you a lot of ideas for food to eat in Edmonton. And please do stay tuned for next week's episode. Bye! C'est magnifique. Ah! Uh, okay, magnifique? C'est magnifique. Magnifique, okay. Is it cultural appropriation that I'm adding the accent? No. <laughs> <laughs> The French like didn't the French colonize Vietnam at one point? They did. So it's true, it's part of my culture. We have French style coffee, we have French mm -hmm. baguettes. That's why that's why Bon Mia are on. Yes, they're on French baguettes. And Vietnamese iced coffee is actually a French coffee mm. with condensed milk. Mm -hmm. I should say that. Actually, the French colonized Vietnam, so in some ways I am a little French. <laughs>